Today, this is Need for Speed Heat. That's a car. We is back. And today, I am super excited to be jumping in and customizing some hypercars and putting on some stunts-style wheels. Now, I know that I'm going to trigger so many people during this video, but if the extremity is available, I will do it. Just like the big wangs. We ain't talking about no nice fitment. We're talking about big old wheels. We're big old... I was going to say fitment, but I just said no fitment. This is where we're starting the regatta. Now, the thing with this car is I've already technically done this in Need for Speed Payback with the glitch. And of course, now we're playing Need for Speed Heat Unite, which... Um, hey, it's a, it's a possible... We just bought this car. We're going to do some bits to it. I don't even care about the performance of this. I want to jump straight in to getting this done. In fact, we do... I do want to see, do we have any thing that can adjust the arches can we make the arches white i just that rear bumper is ridiculous i love that rear bumper so much all right i guess i guess we'll just jump straight into the stanceness of it so we can lower this car pretty low any any more and nah it's just it's just not happy to be honest we might change the wheels just so we can get a little bit nicer of a look but we can even adjust the rake to the point <laughs> what what is going on somebody broke up my regear what am I gonna do? Which we try the front rake. We'll try the front rake as well. It happens on the front as well, mate. That's gonna cause some rubbing. But what? This ain't no rubbing. This is a perfect fitment right here. So instead of doing the camber at the beginning, I'm gonna do the track width. We can actually, we can bring the wheels in. Gen I didn't even know we could do this. We can make it worse if you indeed want to. If you wanted to make a hovery car looking automobile, but we're gonna do the complete opposite now and bring these wheels out. So the wheels poke out quite a bit. Now, this is something that I did on Leafly Payback. And basically, any chance we got to do this, I did this because I think it looks... It just, it's just fun. It's hilarious. Now, here's where you can start to tweak and make it look a little bit nicer. We can play around with the camber. And all of a sudden, it looks like... that's a. Pr I say it looks like a viable fitment. You would probably have to do this, all right, to be this low. So quite frankly, I'm going to do that. I think that's the the best way to to get this 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 crazy of a track width. You've kind of got to go for something like this. So <laughs> I can hear you screaming. It doesn't even fit the the arch still properly. We have to roll that arch a little bit there. But when it comes to wheel uh, to to cars like this, I think this type of wheel, the 3D SMs right here, suit this tremendously. And so that's exactly what we're going to go for. So today we're not only doing the Regera, and we're not going to keep it like this. As I said, I'm going to play around with it and make it a little bit more spicy. It's already the full size. And another cool thing that we can do, because I, like this, this to me says that this feature should be in the, the base Need for Speed. It was already in 2015, but the fact we can put stretched tires on, this is something that's done so much with, with a stanced mobile. This wheel actually comes in a little bit if you didn't just didn't see that there. We're going to put some Toyo tires on. But you can see that the fitment now actually makes a little bit more sense. The front looks like it fits really well. I think the rear is just slightly off still. Ah, we, we could possibly get away with that. But I'm, I'm going to make it perfect on this car. I want full stance and then we're going to tone it back to a little bit more normality. This is just going to be a dedicated video to me stancing the poo poo out of these cars now the rear honestly i think one in and we may actually have a pretty good one there and for the rear there oh debatable i think this is passable so that's ultimate stance and this is definitely not possible on the base game you have to play this mod to get access to something like this now thank you need for speed so you already know it ain't gonna change anything this is still gonna drive as it should this area looks perfect to begin playing with the photo mode so this as i said it's not the only car we're gonna do but i do indeed think that this area would be a nice little play area so if we go into the photo mode there are some brand new photo mode options i've definitely been using this on the thumbnails you might have been able to tell in fact i might spin this car around oh now there we go this is the beginnings of an awesome photo so we can actually play with the preset and it's actually changing the background quite tremendously fog-wise. We've got darkness, which darkness adds, usually adds a little bit of light to the theme. You can see rain. It's obviously going to be rain. A very nice effect there. And if we do exposure compensation, we can finally start to see 
a little bit more brightness. Welcome to Black Pants Photo Motorial. Even though I got kicked out of art class, you're learning photography from me. Here we go. A pretty cool image. Now, one adjustment is definitely new in this if you play with the saturation or the contrast or any of these it does mess with the lighting quite significantly boom it's very odd okay it's very bright very aggressive but that means we can now play down the comp the uh, exposure compensation and we can get a little bit more play in how everything looks put a little bit more contrast on it and you've got some popping colors anyway this <laughs> fitment is beyond ridiculous but it looks so awesome in motion, except when you hit people. Now, there is one particular car that you've seen in the thumbnail that I very, very much want to play with. And this is the car that we're going to focus on the most. It is going to be the Ferrari FXXK. I have to say that slowly, otherwise I will mess it up and people will shout to me. Before we play with another car, I want to just show you kind of what my fitment would be. If I was to do camber, I'm not much of a camber person, but that's actually turning out pretty nice there, as is. It's usually about the halfway point. If I was going to do camber, it would be probably something like this. I'm not much of a camber person, to be honest with you, but a little bit can look quite nice. There you go. That's acceptable, isn't it? Boom. Give me, the, give me the butt back. Give me the... Oh. Give me that squat, baby. As I said, I've got a brand new car for us to try. I just want... I, honestly, I just want to play with cars. And quite honestly, the fact that we can is beautiful. Annoyingly, I have two of them. And I don't know which is which. Let's go for this one for now. And hope that when I go into the stance tuning... Ah, this is the new one. Now, this car... This is going to be extra interesting. Because it's not a car that you would really ever get the chance to play in this way with. So, uh, we've got the rake again, which completely ruins with the clipping actually to be fair if you put it about here that's actually not so bad don't ever really understand the whole point of rake unless you're doing a hot rod which you can't underneath for speed heat which is a bit of a shame now we're going to jump straight to the track width i want to make this thing as ridiculous as possible once again that's the extremity version just because i really really want to and we're going to put the camber all the way, actually. That's probably... We'll start with the camber all the way. Honestly, it looks like the wheels are almost GTA. You remember the cheat code on GTA to drive cars on water? This looks like cars on water. I'm sorry, but these are my favorite wheels. They look so good. I'm sorry. Oh, you know what? That actually might be a, a good call. I think, obviously, I went with something like this before, but I, it does look really good in this style. In the ridiculous style. Oh, Okay, so the tires aren't on this one. We've just got the, uh, we've just got these, which are stretched. Okay, interesting. So not all the tires are available on this car. Though it is one of those cars that really shouldn't even have customization. In case you didn't know, it doesn't, I don't think it normally has any, does it? And if it does, it's very, 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 very minimal to say the least. Now, hopefully we do have the ability to change some little things. We can change the license plate and the sound system. Great, so it's basically, there's nothing we can change just like before. I genuinely thought there would have been more options considering that, well, normally, yeah, we can't even swap the engine. Weird. Because this incorporates Heat Plus and the GZilla and everybody that's modding Need for Speed always wanted to put parts on cars like this. But there are some for the LaFerrari, but this is quite a different car, I guess, isn't it? So interesting indeed honestly the garage areas have some of the coolest places for lighting and the like so i'm gonna say this isn't actually as extreme as i thought it would be i thought we could probably get the wheels poking out but of course that's generally in the case when you have a body kit option available because it adjusts because obviously you want it to make it so that i guess though no, it naturally adjusts doesn't it interesting now what's cool since the last episode i have been confirmed by the modders involved in this that there are some handling tweaks now not handling per se i think some of the assists and stuff have been played with and reduced in some aspects and so when i was saying the handling feels different that is definitely why any small adjustment because the amount of play of this game i say any slight change and i can definitely feel a difference now this car honestly doesn't look as ridiculous as i would kind of hoped I think it looks tremendous in some aspects. I think people that love the stancy old boys, you're going to love this car. I think it's going to, it's finally, you've got the, the coolest looking whip with the craziest stance you've ever seen in your damn life. 
I appreciate that people will be able to do that now. And of course, we can do the more subtle adjustments if we so wish. One of my favorite, again, another of my favorite areas, should I say, to take pictures is under here. I think the lighting is just fantastic. So once again, it's time for a little bit of a tutorial. I'm actually going to reduce it. There we go. Instantly looking kind of like stock need for speed when I go into the photo mode there. But we've got different presets, which currently actually is affected by the actual rain. So if we go to rain, it'll be even more rain or on the road, for example. Increase the strength and the rain stopped. That's inch. I love that actually, because it makes the, ro the roads wet underneath. So we can play with exposure and the like, as we did before, bodywork damage, lens flare. And once again, I'm going to put on the saturation, which just gives you this crazy, crazy vibe which you then go into change it and tweak it a little bit. But look at that. It's just ridiculous. Beyond ridiculous. But look at this fitment. It's kind of not even that good. I expect better. But just the greens, the color. Ah, oh, it looks so stupid on the screen. What has happened to my Ferrari? Who broke my Ferrari? Okay. One last thing to play with then. Let's make it a little bit more sensible. A little bit more normal, if you will. If I, again, we're on stretch tires, I think something in the middle actually looks pretty cool on this maybe again a little bit less maybe about this all right i think that looks pretty good and then we can bring in the tires just a little bit just to make them fit much nicer there we go i think the rear there is sorted and thus the front is also sorted that that fitment that's what i would go for personally I think even playing with the rake a little bit because it's raked to the front. I think somewhere near there. So there you go. That is my friends modifying stance-wise some hypercars in Need for Speed Heat. I hope that these mods make you build some awesome cars on this mod. There's a link down below if you want to try it. And I hope that it makes... I was going to say Ghost. Criterion. I hope it makes Criterion consider this for the future Need for Speed games. More extreme options. Hopefully the manufacturers can agree with these i'm happy with how the build went today hopefully you are too be sure to smash the like subscribe if you are new and i will see you in another need for speed heat unite video until next time peace